Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado that generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you need to find where the ignition switch fuses are located, which fuses you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts to use fuses, realize it's a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so guys the ignition switch fuse where you can expect to find it will demonstrate on that generation Chevy Silverado right here now you guys have many hidden fuse boxes all over this track that 9 out of 10 people do not know they exist we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Silverado so now what you guys need to do for the ignition switch you need to open the driver door once you do that on the side of the dash you have that cover if you pull that cover, oh, it opens guys, behind it you have a fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we, can, um, before we continue guys, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it, and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time so for the ignition switch guys okay what do we need to check multiple fuses now in different fuse boxes make sure you stand till the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us here if you have 2014 through 16 you have that fuse box layout here and we will first need to check fuse number 23 right here that's a special double fuse we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from if you have a hard time finding it guys next you need to check fuse number 31 which is exactly the one underneath it okay so these two fuses right here if you have a 2017 through 19 it will be the same fuses guys this one here and this one here as well now uh, guys next what do we need to do we need to open okay the hood and under the hood guys okay okay let me see you have an engine fuse box right here on the driver's side so what you will need to do now open that cover right here and underneath you're going to see a fuse box with a layout like this one that's 2014 through 16 model layout here you will guys okay need to check specifically uh, fuse number 34 now okay and you wonder where 34 is located okay in the middle right here that's fuse number 34 right above the relay right there and next you will need to check fuse number 39 right here 39 and you will need to check fuse number 40 right underneath it if you have guys 2017 through uh, 2019 now okay the fuses that we'll need to check specifically uh, here okay will be fuse number 34 now okay 34 the same fuse and then you will need to check guys fuse number 39 and 40 there is no differences for these fuses through the years guys but those are the fuses that you will need to check 
Now guys, you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that Chevy Silverado. You have different fuses and relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. And uh, one time we needed a replacement one, we couldn't get one, we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. So what we do now, we always get some spare fuses, relays, keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys, that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.